It's uh, November twenty, uh, November first, twenty twenty-one. Uh, just having a bit of a look around the wheat today. Um, just going east of the Newell, sort of from Narrabri to North of Moree. I'm just east of uh, Edgeroy at the moment in a crop of wheat. Everything looks pretty close to being harvested. Not too many headers going. A few faber beans off around the area, but. Uh, I'll throw the drone up and we'll have a bit of a look around and see what's happening. So it's still uh, just east of uh, Balata, sort of at the bottom of the Denny Lane now, just looking at some wheat here. The, um, this crop's a hell of a lot better than the last crop we had a look at. Uh, and you know, just from the car, looking as you go past, most of the crops here look pretty good, really. Not quite as much wheat here this year as last year, but um, still a few good fields, that's for sure. Still probably um, a couple of weeks off here, but turning quickly. Keep moving north. Yeah, just a little bit further down the road uh, in the Denny Lane. I'm going to have to turn around. It doesn't look like I can get a two wheel drive through here. So, but um, geez, looking at these heads here, they it's a really nice looking crop of wheat. I'll keep going. So just here, east of Vegeroy, sort of in a field of chickpeas, there's Seema chickpeas. I was just talking to the grower and he reckons that it probably yields somewhere around two tonne per hectare. I'll get down into them and rub a couple out and have a look at them. So yeah, a really nice looking peas. Um, not too many pods with two in them though, that's the, the major issue I think. But um, yeah, otherwise really nice. I'll have a look at his barley on the other side of the road. Right, so just across the road, this is a field of planet barley. Uh, it looks pretty good, but it's um, fallen down in a lot of places. It seems to be lodging. I'll throw the drone up and have a look and see how bad it is from the air. It's probably going to show it a little bit more. Nice field of barley, that. So east of uh, Bladder now on the Berrigal Creek Road, sort of haystack mountain kind of area. Um, crops look awesome right through here. There's a sorghum in as well. So sorghum's about 10, 12 inches high at the moment so, and looking pretty lush. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see how impressive this is just looking at it. Haven't really seen a bad crop yet. I don't know whether we'll see the same yields as last year, but there's plenty of potential. Chickpeas seem to do it a little bit tougher than what the um, cereals have done. Not sure why.
just hand rubbing a sample there. It looks um, like pretty good protein, really. There's only a couple of small ones in there, so it's not too bad. Um, still a little, probably not far off, you know, maybe oh, gee, a couple of odd days would get this in pretty quick. So still uh, east of Balata, just heading towards Gurley, heading north now down the Gurley Boo Boo Road. Um, still plenty of good wheat and canola and chickpeas, everything's good. It's hard to put a yield on these crops when they're filling sort of uh, three to five wide on some heads. In regards to fallow, probably not a lot of fallow left. Uh, sorghum's, there's a fair few acres of sorghum gone in around here too, so it's um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty big year through here. I'll keep moving north before I run out of time on a bit of a time schedule today. So uh, east of Gurley, between sort of midway between Gurley and Terry High, uh, heading east. Uh, so more of the same, really. It's just a really good wheat crop after a really good wheat crop at the moment. Not a lot of disease, not a lot of nothing except big yields by the looks of things. Watching the weather map over the last few weeks there's been quite a few storms go through this part of the world here so it's quite soft underfoot as well. I'll keep moving north. Sample of that wheat. So we're nearly at Terry High now. Uh, this is Carmona Downs, sort of corner of Gurley Road and Terry High Road. Uh, a few more chickpeas through here. Good wheat, excellent wheat everywhere so far. Bit of canola getting wind road down the road. Look pretty good too. Haven't seen a bad crop of wheat yet. Actually, probably the first crop that we looked at was the worst one I've seen all morning. Here's a crop of canola just at Terry High. I don't think I've ever seen canola this big before. Like the pod sizes and stuff. It's huge. It's taller than I am. It's not saying a lot, but it's taller than I am. We're just starting to get a bit off up the top of the hill. So just on the Gilbrook Road southwest of Binigai. I uh, don't know whether I'll get right to Cropper Creek today, sort of running out of time a bit. Yields are backed off a bit here, but still very good, very close to harvest. A lot of the samples I've rubbed out since I live in Ballada has sort of looked a little bit light on for protein. So it'll be interesting to see whether it's a trend. I know talking to some of the receival guides it already is. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if it continues on for the next week or two. On the Laird Road about halfway between, oh nearly to the Terry High turn off on the Laird Road in a field of barley here. Um, starting to go down in a few places but it's not too bad the heads are a good size but um, yeah once again the yields in this part of the world are just about 20-25% less than what they were around Balata uh, pretty hard to rub a sample out still pretty green still a week or two off Uh, still on the Laird Do Road, um, just about near the Terry High Road now, but yeah, the wheat here is a lot better than some of the wheat I've seen further east. Um, 
it's uh, lodging in a few places too, which isn't great, but um, that's what happens when you get big crops. So. I'll rub a couple of heads out and see what it looks like. Still too green to get too much out of it, but um, it looks a bit better than the uh, other ones I've rubbed out the last hour or so. A little bit more protein in it. Maybe got a little black tip as well. They won't want to see much more rain here before they get the header in. Just rubbing it out and looking at it, it looks like it's probably, it could still be a week or two away. Anyway, I'll keep moving. I'm just running out of time today. Oh, here's a crop duster. Those guys are crazy. So this will probably be my last stop today. A uh, place called Bundy Station. It's near Cherry High. Um, the wheat here looks exceptional, it's all getting better again. Um, I'll throw the drone up and have a look around as well. But um, yeah, it's it's been like the conclusion for the day is yields are as good as last year probably. Um, maybe not as many acres, but close to it. Uh, can't see a lot of sorghum sowing out there uh, at the moment, so yeah, that's interesting. Uh, not that much barley, luckily, and uh, yeah, good wheat. Good wheat everywhere. Anyway, I'll throw the drone up and just do a bit of a look around from here and and uh, call it a day. This is uh, the wheat um, we're standing in here at Bundy Station. That looks a lot better here too, a lot higher protein looking. A little bit shriveled in a few heads, but I think that's just par for the course when it tries to fill this wide. Anyway, all good wheat. Might be time to buy a four-wheel drive, I think, and give Jody back the X-Trail.